At the end of what was a long and wet winter, the Western Cape was showing off in truly stunning style as riders arrived at Bosman Family Vineyards for the final round of the King Price Trail Seeker Series. So the trails in Wellington are always an absolute beaut. Um, they have some of the best trails here, um, amazing trail network and loops here. So the, for the 60k we're going to do pretty much all of them and I'm really looking forward to that. A perfect venue for a trail seeker race, the first Bosmans took ownership in 1810 and it has stayed in the family ever since. The current generation produce wines and propagate vine cuttings for the Cape wine industry. This is our family estate, it's um, been in the family now for eight generations. So it's a yeah, real um, privilege to host the King Price Trail Seeker again, um, a wonderful well organised event. A week after the conclusion of the Cape Epic and a batch was packed with riders in peak condition. Ahead of them was a 65 kilometer route laden with single track with its fair share of taxes in the form of short, sharp and steep hills. But here's someone who knows exactly what they in for. Um, I would say today would be, I would consider it as an intermediate type of marathon. A uh, fair amount of climbing, I think about 1800 in the 60 k's and and just yeah, a nice combination of uh, single track rewards. So for you, for the climbing, you're getting out uh, really some nice descending, and uh, I'd put it at a, a mid level. There's nothing too majorly technical or too rocky, but just uh, nice fun trails. It had been a long season for the top pro riders. The early ramps into the vineyards served to split the lead group up in the smaller pods of riders. Former teammates Arne de Toy, riding in the colours of Insect Science and Gert Haynes of Piger Eurosteel were clearly in sharp shape. De Toy finished the epic strongly while Haynes was forced to take it easy after his partner Matthias Bierkes withdrew early in the week. Both former national marathon champions know each other's strengths and weaknesses very well and would likely play a race-long waiting game before making a move. 20-year-old Tristan Norkia was fresh from a stunning epic debut. The third group was made up of Habia Krier, Jaku Fenter and Dominique Carlitz. The conditions were firm and fast. The scene was set for a two-up battle to the finish. The trails surrounding Wellington in the Boerlands are renowned as some of the best in the country. The easing of COVID restrictions has seen riders emerge from long periods away from events. For some, the hefty cocktail of perfect weather and magical trails was too good of an opportunity to miss. To be back though after the, the year of everything being shut down and there are always beautiful routes and well organized, so I have nothing but high expectations. I'm expecting it to be pretty easy because it's a marathon and it's pretty flat around here. Solid local advice for the marathon woman as they rolled up to the start line. A cross-section of one-day marathon specialists and hardcore stage race riders set in for an exclusive women's elite race a few minutes after the A batch. Amy McDougall, Janice Fenter, Ulrika Haramson Pretorius and adding an exotic European flavour, Hungarian Barbara Benko were among those chasing the win at Wellington. Cape Epic runner-up Candice Lull of Team Faces was in the field but was not yet ready to go full gas. After her exertions a week ago, she was happy to throttle back and watch the racing from a distance whilst enjoying the trails. The occasionally fickle Cape weather had played her most forgiving card. It was an absolute peach of a day. Local rider McDougall led Benko into the first section of the single track. Haramson Pretorius led Marzal van der Marva up one of the very steep pitches. Up from Pretoria, Monique de Toy was in fifth place. Not far behind them, a relaxed Darren and Candice Lull and Faces founder Clark Gardner. The Faces events team has rejuvenated the Trail Seeker series with some creative ideas and cool venues to create memorable experiences on and off the bike regardless of what distance they ride. I think the, the King Price Trail Seeker is the capital of mountain biking in South Africa. You know, it's, it's national, it's everywhere, it's got this gears, it's got families, it's got kids, it's got the professionals. And I think this is a chance for professionals to have six, six rides a year where they can race against the best in the best conditions, best tracks, uh, well sponsored by King Price and our, and our partners. 
Um, so I, I think it's well organized, it's broadcast, it, it gets exposure. It's the capital of mountain biking in the country and, and that's why it's well supported. Young Nokia of Mbuko Giants was perhaps a notch below his best form as he strained to close the gap to the leaders. Carlitz led Creer and Fenter in the third group. But the fierce pace of the two pros took a toll and Carlitz dropped back. Up front, Toy and Haynes continued to shadow box as they jockeyed for position heading into the single track section. Detoy led into one of the route's highlights, the one and a half kilometer long Golden Mile. A switchback descent through a washed out sandstone canyon, the recent rains left the surface firm and fast. Nokia dropped in about a minute further back, then it was Yaku Fenter of First Move and Alpha Bodyworks Harbia Creer. The only way the leading pair looked vulnerable was when they were joined by the Wellington version of The Running of the Bulls. All in a day's racing in Africa. Normal service was resumed as they quickly regained the last seconds on Nokia, who has the home ground advantage on the trails of Wellington. Haynes put on a big attack to try and put the toy under pressure and it all came down to a sprint finish. Yeah, I think we both knew that the last few corners would be important. I think both of us looked at the, looked at the finish before the race, so I actually did everything right, I think. But, so I didn't really have the legs to to be in front, but I think I just had a little bit extra kick at the end. It was a perfectly timed kick that secured Piger Eurostil's Gert Haynes his first win at this year's King Prize Trail Seeker Series. An exhausted Tristan Norkia rolled home in third. Fist pumps on the podium as the top three celebrated another high quality race. Um, it's always nice to, to do some racing, um, especially after Epic. I didn't have a great Epic, so. No, this is always a great event and a great, it's great for our sponsors as well. We just went out hard. My legs felt really, really good. Um, it was awesome to get away with Gert and just like the good old days to battle it out there. Um, a lot of punches thrown both ways, so it's a good dice. And yeah, a bit frustrated in the end yeah, to lose it in such a close sprint, but well done to Gert and yeah, hats off to him. Just a second between Haynes and a toy, Tristan Norkia was a minute and 15 seconds back in third. The top 11 riders all finished in under three hours. Under crystal clear skies and through the blooming Watsonia flowers, the women's race was turning into a similar two-way tussle for supremacy. Barbara Benko, who had not raced the Cape Epic, was leading MacDougall. Haramson Pretorius and Van der Merwe in third and fourth and putting a clutch of strain vets and masters men under pressure. Up front, Benko and MacDougall were not to be separated as they snaked around the wondrous Valnapaz network of trails on the slopes of Grunberg. Haramson Pretorius riding in the colours of Team Wintergreen is Doctor of Chemistry and Polymer Science attached to Stellenbosch University. Janice Fenter had Kirsten Flanagan and Enzo Grande on her wheel. The pace increased as the leaders crossed in on the finish. Drop a seats down as they plummeted off Grunberg. At the finish, Benko's fresher leg saw the Hungarian carry too much power in the sprint for MacDougall as she took a hard-earned win. And I really enjoyed it. It's like, it was super fun. Um, I felt actually good, but to be honest, more or less we were just riding together with Emmy and having fun. So at the end it was a sprint finish and I, I could win, but to be honest, once I was waited for Emmy when she had a flat battery and the next time I just crashed in a weird bridge and then she was waiting for me a bit. So we really just actually had fun and had a really, really great riding and just decided the race at the end in the in the sprint finish, but it was super, super nice trails and fun riding. And the corks go flying. 
Only 8 seconds separated Benko and McDougall and 2 minutes 51 seconds was the gap between Haramson Pretorius and Fundamadva in 3rd and 4th. It's a privilege to have the best in the business ride the same trails on the same day as the weekend warriors and committed amateurs, who got a warm welcome home from the energetic King Prize cheerleaders. It's quite amazing. It doesn't matter what you're doing. You're coming here. It feels like you've uh, won some sort of race. So all the, uh, the cheering and that is uh, it's quite welcoming. It's awesome. Yeah. Good. A uh, beautiful race. You know, well done to everybody that made it possible for us to have such an amazing race. So well done. Yeah, it was amazing. Next time we'll do it definitely again. Really tough race, a lot of climbing, but absolutely epic views. And what a, what a race. Probably one of the best I've ever done. A hard-earned fresh pizza and some post-race banter on the shaded lawns was a fitting reward. The activities at Bosman Family Vineyards didn't end there though. The trail runners were soon limbering up for their races. Beautiful day out in Wellington, so I'm expecting a nice run. I hope the weather doesn't get too hot and we can uh, get through this without too much uh, effort and finish strong. How's it guys? Um, this is my first time out here. I'm doing a race in Wellington. Very excited um, to see what it's like, what the terrain is like. I'm only doing the 5k, so just keeping it very short and simple. And yeah, hoping to get into more, some more serious runs. So let's see how it goes. What a beautiful farm, what a beautiful trail. Uh, it was just so special. I come from Johannesburg and to spend this beautiful time in your vineyards was just such a special day with my darling friend. Thank you so much to all the organisers. With three manageable distance options, there were many very satisfied runners cheered in at the finish to bring the curtain down on a memorable day on the Wellington Trails. Uh, great views, awesome atmosphere, lekker bier at the end, nice reward. So thanks for you guys, we really appreciate it. The last day of the King Price Trail Seeker and we finish at the beautiful Bosman Family Vineyards. 3K, 5K, 10K run done and dusted with the entire Bosman family participating. We're looking forward to seeing you next year. You can just follow us on social media to see the dates for 2022. The first three of six upcoming 2022 King Prize Trailseeker events kicks off in the Western Cape on the 29th of January at Plassey Wine Estate in Bunhoek, followed by a race in Limpopo at Sondela Nature Reserve on the 9th of April and back in Gauteng on the 21st of May at Biffles Drift for the third race. If 2021 was anything to go by, 2022 is going to be out of this world.